Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. You caught up with us on a cold day. Cold, windy day. It was hot, beautiful yesterday, cold, windy today. Oklahoma, if you don't <laughs> like it, just stick around. It's going to change. Yep, it's supposed to be 81 by the end of the day. So we are having a great day so far on the farm though, but Cassie's about ready to head out. But first things first, we got to take care of the sheep. Yeah, so I'll show you kind of what I do in the mornings when I'm here. If I have to leave early, Gary does this, and then I do the night routine. We're just, he's helping me. Just do whatever we can do to make it through. That's what we do. Yep, so since these have uh, lambs on their side, they get fed twice a day. So let's go see what we do. So as I'm on my way to the shop, I'm going to check on my uh, chicken tractor. Gary and I actually moved it last night while they were up, so we didn't have to worry about this morning. So they got fresh grass. Um, we, since American breasts are in here and they're like a dual purpose, we're trying not to keep that feeder too full all the time because they'll just eat and eat. So, looking good, doing good, it's working out. So before I grab the feed, also check on my chicks over here. They've been doing great. I got two over here from the chicks that I hatched out. So just peek in. Water's good, feed's good. They're good. Then, check on the ones that we got from tractor supply. Feed's good, water needs filled. I know, they make a mess, that's what they do. There's two, where's the rest of your friends? Underneath there getting warm. So they're growing. I'm going to move up the back side of this breeder plate. There's really no way to keep them off the top of that either. Well, there is a way. You uh, buy the attachment for it. Oh, without buying the attachment. <laughs> yeah. Really. So there's like a dome triangle thing from Premier One, I believe it is that causes it harder for them to get up, but I bet they would still get on it. So that's why I haven't got it. I'm gonna go pour this out and then we'll refresh it. So I got it full of water, some apple cider vinegar. They're about to the age when I stop doing that. I don't do it forever. I know some people do, but I don't. The apple cider vinegar helps their uh, gut health as they're small. So put the water in there because they're getting big and there's more of them. I'm about to transition them into a bigger water. So we got their feed, their alfalfa, their hay. Now that we're turning them out to graze, they haven't been eating as much as the hay and stuff, but we're keeping it there so they always have it. This gorilla cart, game changer. So always turn on the fence so when they come out, it'll be hot in case they wanna uh, try the fence. Know what's about to happen. Hey babies! <laughs> hey babies! <laughs> I know, you know what I'm gonna do. Come on, babies! <laughs> Come on, babies! <laughs> so the uh, lambs are starting to eat too, so we're gonna make them a creep feeder because they're wanting some grain. <laughs> They are so soft up around their face. And again, just feels just like carpet back here on their back. Oh no, that actually, she's pretty soft. So sometimes people ask, what do they feel like? And yes, we will shear them. Another common question we've had is, are you gonna shear the sheep? Of course. Ball ball black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, we have wool. And we're gonna have them sheared. Um, we already contacted our um, person that comes and shears and they're going to take care of Mariposa and honey and uh, Also Alvin and Alfred of course all at the same time as they take care of the uh, sheep So now we've got six head total for them to do Hey girls hey, Ladies Yeah, this one. I love this one spots over here in the corner.
Now you can see him. Got a little light on her. Yes. May I help you? And you're not supposed to have favorites, probably, but Hazel's my favorite. So what I've noticed is they felt like carpet after they were born because, you know, kind of a dirty process. But as they, the mama's cleaned them up, dried, all that, they've gotten super soft. So it's kind of changed. I like her legs. Yeah, the... and her face. She's not dirty. This is her hazel. We called her hazel because of her smoky color. And all their tails are banded. Some is, have fallen off, has fallen off. But the others, not quite yet, but that one's close. Yeah, you can see these tails are close to being docked it just takes time and patience so as cassie said the lambs are getting bigger and bigger and wanting to eat with their mamas but their mamas are going to take all the grain every single time so what i'm going to do today is try to build a little sheep creep feeder um, probably just build it out of some scrap materials that we have use what you got i have a creep feeder gate for our goats but i'm going to save that because i'm going to want to use that with the goats later on so basically I just need something that these girls can't fit through, but they can. So it really shouldn't be that hard uh, to build. So come along, I'm gonna find some materials. We're gonna build that and we'll see how it works later. So I may have mentioned this on a different video, but I have a problem here in the shop. I have lights that are going out. So I bought some cheap lights off of Amazon probably two years ago, maybe three and they have slowly started going out on me so you can see over here um that one's good that one's good and then i have one two three four three out over there four out so i purchased one from sam's club which is right here above me super bright i think it's kind of a double capacity of what the other ones are and i um, bought four or five of them so i'm going to install uh two or three more before i start working on that uh, sheep feeder to see how they work um, but if you're interested I think they were $20 each uh, but let me show you this it's a LED um, four foot linkable shop light and this is what my old ones were um, just a single so I am going to put a few more of these up I have looks like three more to put up right now and I already installed one so that way we can have a little better light so I'm going to take a quick break from putting in those lights to uh, come out here and give the chickens some feed. So like we told you earlier, uh, we move them every day. and So, we, so we don't want to overfeed them because what will happen is if you come back here, this, this time was good. You see all the manure on the ground, all the fertilizer. They're not standing in their own poo because we moved it. But right back here, we have a little pile of feed and that's what we don't want to happen. So they're very bad about knocking it out of their feeder. So what I do is try to pour them um, the amount that they'll clean up in a day is what my goal is. And so that's what I'm going to do right now. Watch out, babies. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Hey, look. I got your feed. I got your feed. And it's about 9, 9.30 in the morning. So... Uh, they've had what, a couple hours without food, but you got to be really careful. These American breasts are dual purpose birds, and if they have full feed all the time, they can overeat. So they've got water, they've got food. I really love this uh, for chickens though, because I feel it's, like it's one of the most sanitary things um, to have them on fresh ground every day. And you can look in here, the manure uh, just falls right through uh, down to the ground. So really working out really well. And just like that, we now have light. So you can see, I'll show you, we have our new lights, uh, there, there, old light, and old light. So it's going from a single to a double. And by the time I get this whole shop with all these new lights, it should be bright as day in here again so that's what i want i love good even light i like a lot of it and 
I need to get organized. You can see I got a mess over here. I'm going to do some cleanup today while it's windy outside and kind of chilly and uh, try to get things straightened up. It's just a, it's like a daily thing. I promise. I do not intend for it to look like this, but it happens. And then Cassie, well, I'll let her uh, do her chick thing. And then once the chicks are out, then I'll uh, go through and clean that up good. So looks a lot better. So you guys know that we love to reuse, recycle, upcycle, repurpose, do whatever we can uh, with what we have. One, because it means it's not going to go to the trash, but two, because it usually saves money. So when Cassie got her giant incubator, I want to show you guys what's inside because I don't think Cassie mentioned it earlier, but there's something inside the incubator. Uh, so we'll go in and check that so out. I'm going to take a quick break from outside to show you guys Cassie's incubator and what she's got inside. So let me turn the light on. And you can see there's water down there and uh, looks like turkey eggs or duck eggs right up there. So what do you guys think? Cassie uh, has this thing going. It's been going a couple days now. You see this uh, egg turner tray, it'll go like this and it'll go back like that back and forth uh all day long so that's that's what she's got going in there but she's not going to make it home before we end the video so i thought i would show you that first this uh was the crate that was around the incubator to keep it safe so instead of um tearing it down and destroying it i'm going to upcycle it i'm probably going to take this pallet off the bottom because we don't really need it to be heavy uh, we don't need it to be elevated and i'll reuse that pallet probably to set wood on outside so I'm gonna take this apart and uh, see what we can end up with as far as the frame goes. And then uh, we'll work on something for the sides. And of course I got the best help in the business from the shop cat, Mr. Jingles. What do you think, Mr. Jingles? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's deciding to be nice today. With Mr. Jingles, you either get a lick or a bite. Sometimes you get a lick followed up by a bite. This depends how he's feeling. Depends how, depends how catty he is. You're not too catty today, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for being nice. Thank you for being nice. Yeah. So these are really secured to the pallet because they are drilled straight down from this two by four into the pallet. So, but we can get them out. And we're just going to go right back because <clears throat> I like how this is just uh, kind of toe nailed or toe screwed in. It seems to uh, be efficient as far as using less material. And that's another thing keeping weight down and less material is what we're looking for. So, all right, should be separated now. I'm going to pull it off. And work on some upper uh, things to stabilize it. And this pallet, like I said, we'll recycle it and use it probably to stack wood on. That's what I've been saving my pallets for uh, to keep the wood from rotting while it's drying out. So I may adjust this later on, but right now I'm going to give the lambs an eight inch spacing to get in. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go eight inches. So eight inches here, eight inches here, and in the back will be the area where we uh, put some kind of a food trough back there. So, so Cassie might say that I'm the problem. Well, let's be honest. I'm the solution. This board I have kept for five years. I actually have a whole pile of them over there about this length. Um, if you look at the top of our porch on our house, the underneath, it is this uh, tongue and groove um, pine, I think that's pine, tongue and groove board though, and that is what's on the underneath our porch. Well, all the scrap boards I saved when we built our house because I knew I would need them one day. I didn't know that I would need them to uh, build a uh, creep feeder for lambs, but I knew I would need them. So 
Today's the day. You're welcome, Cassie. If you watch this at some point, I don't. Sometimes Cassie doesn't even watch our videos. That's okay because she's busy. But hate to say I told you so. So to keep the uh, old mama sheep out of the creep feeder, we're going to use some of these panels that we use um, on our chicken tractor. So I had to cut one of them down to make the door. So we're going to use the rest of that panel. That way we're not wasting a full panel. Um, but we're going to use the rest of that to make some little panels for the side of the, of the um, creep feeder. So if you've never used these panels, the easiest way by far to um, cut these is with a little grinder, the little wheel on it, a uh, little cut wheel. It really makes the job easy and almost anybody could do it. So here we go. Now I know some of you will say this is cheating, but Cassie has been buying these zip ties like crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some to use. All right, we've got these nice size zip ties right here. Let's see if we can go across. Got it finished up. We have wire on two sides. The gate in the front, pretty solid in the back. So I think that's gonna work. All right, I found this little feeder and lowered my uh, uh, board down just a little bit. So I think we are ready to test it out. So we're ready to test out the uh, creep feeder for the sheep, the lambs, but I just got a phone call. I got some special guests gonna drop by in just a minute. Couple of kids, I'll call them. Couple of kids, they might enjoy seeing the, uh, the lambs. So just wait a couple minutes. They should be here anytime. Um, I might grab a lamb so I can show it to them and uh, see what they think about it. So I'll introduce you to a couple of guests. Well, just like I told you, my uh, guests have arrived. So I'm gonna try to grab uh, Hazel and see if I can catch her. Hey, Mama. Woo. Go on, babies. Go on. Go on. Go back in there. Follow your mom. Okay. Well, it wasn't easy, but I caught Hazel. Let's go see if I can show her off a little bit. Now, Olive, I didn't hurt your baby. Go on out there to her. Go on. Go on. So I, I told you a couple kids were gonna drop by and those kids are my grandma and my grandpa. So they're not quite kids anymore, but I, I've heard you say you're only as old as you feel. Is that right? Well, tell you the truth, I feel pretty doggone old. And I went and got me a haircut. She says, what kind of, what kind of haircut you want? I said, honey, They've been people a lot younger and smarter than you try to make me ugly and they can't do it. <laughs> They've all tried. <laughs> I huh? said, just go to work. You can't, you can't harm me. Well, it looks like she did a good job. She did. Well, so this is my grandpa and my dad's over there. Troy Walker. And my grandma's yep. back in the back seat. And it saved you today. Troy Walker, Troy Walker, and Naomi Faye. Amen. So yeah. they came by and grabbed some eggs and I showed them the lambs and uh, hopefully Amen. they're having a good day. Amen. We do, we do it. We, we enjoy visiting with you. God yeah. bless you. And bless you all. Hopefully you enjoyed meeting my grandparents. Uh, I love them dearly, Troy and Faye, but I call them Papa and Grandma, of course. I got my names for them. Um, but uh, I don't know if they've actually ever watched one of our videos, but they kind of understand what goes on, and I just told them that we uh, record what we do every day and that's uh, part of it. So so we gave them a couple dozen eggs to leave with and they wanted me to take some pizza but I already ate an egg sandwich so I had already ate. But now I'm finished up with this um, but hopefully you enjoyed meeting them. 
I plan on going out to their house in a couple days and maybe finding some wild onions and mushrooms. I'm going to go looking. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out to the uh, pen for the sheep. Ugh. Think a little smarter, work smarter, not harder. Use my dolly right here and uh, see if we can get this out there and see what the lambs think about it. So I got it set up and while I was back here setting it up just a minute ago, I had a lamb in here eating. So let me see. Does anybody want to eat any more food? Anybody? All right, I know I can get the, the mamas to come if I get them a little bit of food out. So let me get them a little bit of food out. Come here, lambs. What's wrong, baby? Are you stuck? I think this is the one that actually was in there while ago. They just got to figure out how to go in and out. But once they figure out how to go in and out, look at that. So I don't think the lambs really feel comfortable going in there with me around. So I'm going to leave them alone for a little bit. And uh, I'll come back and check on them in five or ten minutes and see if the... Make sure the sheep are staying out and see if the lambs wanted to go in and eat a little more. All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's sneak in and see if there's anybody eating. Ah, looks like the only people eating are the babies eating from mama. So we at least now have a spot for them to go though to feed your babies, okay? We got a spot for these guys, yeah. Easy there. So with the sheep getting all the attention, I better go check on Lulu. Lulu, come here, baby. Come here, girl. Hey, come here. Let me brush you a little bit. Hmm. So there's, looks like they're shedding. She's shedding pretty good right now. Hey, great. hey baby. Yeah. Lulu's a good girl. A lot of people ask questions about Lulu, about uh, us riding her or the kids riding her. And she had some foot problems going on, but I think we're past those now. So, oh, is that enough brushing? Okay. So probably in, uh, in just uh, a little bit, I think we'll have the farrier out one more time to check her feet, but we'll probably saddle her up soon for um, Ransom and uh, for Mazzy to ride. And are you girls gonna ever have any Kriyas? I know you're getting our last smell of hay over there. You got those long necks. Yeah, that is, it's you. I see it. Are we ever gonna have any Kriyas? So I uh, talk to our person that's gonna come shear she said she'll add us to her calendar, so it won't be long, and uh, Mariposa and Honey should be getting sheared off. So I think that's all we got here on the farm today. Uh, we covered the sheep in full detail. Uh, Cassie kind of went through everything she does, and we got them set up with a new creep feeder. So they should be in good shape now. Uh, Dot, you got anything else to say? Well, we do always want to end with prayer requests here on Catching Up With The Walkers. And you guys know that there have been some bad storms uh, moving through the Midwest and the South. And just keep those people in your prayers. We know um, all too familiar how the storms impact people. We've had tornadoes come through this area multiple times, and it's just total destruction when it happens. So we'll be keeping them in your prayers. If you have any prayer requests, leave it down in the comments below. But I want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to follow along with us here on our farm. We hope you have a great day, and God bless. <laughs>